down. You probably seen me three or four, four times today. Now, when you get sick of me, go to the next video. Turn it off. Do what you do. It's okay. I'll be all right. I'll live. For those of you wonderful, wonderful, wonderful subscribers that want to stick around and hear me babble all damn night, then that's fine. I love you. And I appreciate you. Alrighty, here we go. Now, I made a video a few minutes ago and I was going to talk about these. I got bored one day recently, which is, yeah, that happens a lot because I got a lot of time on my hands right now. Time that I don't exactly want, but time that I probably need. So, that said, let's get on with things. As you can see, you got this lovely little green thing here. MAC has this color called Spring Bean. I'm going to take all of these off so I can really kind of, so I can, I'm going to dedicate this particular video to these. So, you can see better what it is that I'm talking about and I'm not distracted by other shit. And, hey, look, if you can't stand the cussing, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just being me. I cuss. Everybody be all right. There are plenty of people on the planet, including Christians, that are devout all day long. They cuss too. They just do it behind closed doors. They don't want nobody to know. Anywho, this one, this green I made, happens to be something that was inspired by Spring Bean from MAC. And if you get enough, I'm going to tell you something. If you get enough MAC pigments in your collection... Or you get the right ones. Nine times out of ten, you do it just right. You won't really have to go keep going back and forth for that damn lip glass or a particular blush or whatever. You can get them little twenty dollar jars, or you can wait till the holidays and get them little teeny weeny vials that they sell to you for about thirty dollars or whatever, and you can make most of the stuff that you like yourself. There are exceptions. I'm not going to say that there aren't. But there are quite a few things that you can do with those little $20 things worth of pigments. Besides sharing them with your friends and so on and so forth. This, however, I made this one with a hip pigment. A hip pigment and some clear gloss. And I call this one Rebel Bean. And that's all I did. Now, I am going to find my favorite little swatchy lippy doo. This one right here. If you ever seen this makeup artist on here called Sal, his name is Salvatore Augustino. He has a pencil like this that has the little lip brush on the end. And that's all he uses for his lip brush. You'd be amazed at the looks that this man comes up with with just this minimal amount of stuff that he uses. But here we are. We have swatches. There we go. Now, I'm going to come in. I'm going to tighten up just a little bit on it so you can see. There you go. So, that's mine. That's my creation there that I call Rebel Bean. Now, I need something to wipe this off. and stop smacking my lip. But it's the lip gloss. It's a little sticky, but it's okay. I'll get over it. This is one of those. If I slick that, probably my best bet will probably be slicking over the clear. LA colors. I hate the fact my nose flares every time I talk. But anyway, the clear uh, LA colors or whatever, slick something like that over it and should take down a sticky. So we're going to come back out again because this is certainly not about my face. Damn sure ain't about skincare because mm, I just ain't in, just not feeling that right now. Here's a MAC pigment that I mixed to get my gold. And I just call it Gold Rages. Okay. And that. This is going to be nice. Probably over like a gold to do anything with. So you got the Rebel Bean, which is the green at the top. And you got the other one, what I call Gold Rages, right here. Now, I'm trying to remember. What I mix with what? Now, I got this nice frosty one here. 
it's kind of a pinkish kind of frost to it. So there's that. And this, I don't know, I'm a little off camera, but I'm off camera for a reason because I'm going to show you what the third one looks like. That's the, that's the frosty color. Yeah, that's the frosty color up on it. Hello, focus, baby. That's the frosty color underneath that I made, and I just call it simply Jack Frost. There's that one. Okay, now, wipe this off. For those of you that are looking for cosmic blue, it can be done. Recipe is real, real simple. Even though I do have a little added extra one to this particular one that I have, but the recipe is real simple. Get you some clear gloss. Get you some reflex blue. You got cosmic blue. Now, do I tell you what I added extra to this? No. I told you the two things that you need to get in order to get your cosmic blue. Focus, baby. Focus, focus, focus. Come on. There you go. But this is my version. Okay. And it is called De Blue. That is D E U X Blue, as in B L E U, like the French. Blue. So this is called De Blue. Simply Blue 2. I have one here that I made and I call it Cosmic Sky. This is De Blue. And this is Cosmic Sky. Now, my Cosmic Sky. See, I would love, instead of just having these in pots, to put them in those pins. This is a little darker, but it's also sheer. It's a little sheerer. I would probably put this over purple. Or maybe some pinks. So, you got, from the top, this is the Rebel Bean, this is my Gold Rages, this is Jack Frost, this one right here is Du Bleu, and this is Cosmic Sky. So that's what you have right there. I have three more that I've done in this particular stack. The next one I'm going to do is Miss Die Dynamite. Which is my own version of Miss Dynamite. I love that color. I just can't justify me buying it right now. Even when I had it, I still couldn't justify me buying it. So that's my Miss Die Dynamite down there, up underneath the, up underneath my blue. So this is Miss Die Dynamite right there. It might be a little more orangey or whatever. Then the original, that's fine. I have always been one of those type of people that if I can fix something or find some way around putting something together myself, whereas I don't have to do anything crazy. Now this is a hell of a recipe that I came up with for this one because it's got reflex black and red in it. That's where you get all the little, the little, the red flecks and so on and so forth in it. And anytime you make glosses like this and you find that they're just a little too sticky, too, a little too thick, just add a little bit more product to it and you should, it should be able to thin itself out. This one right here that I call with all of the reflex and so on and so forth is my almost pinkish bronze kind of thing. There's quite a bit going on in here. So this, this, this recipe is a little bit more intense. But like I said, it does have reflex, reflex black and red in it. I can talk. I got one last one to do because I really would like to put this up tonight. And this is called Miss Money. So it's just variations on the name. You can name them anything you want when you find the right combination of stuff for you. This last one is another one of the blues that I created. And this is just called Cosmic Deep. It's purple. It's kind of a purplish looking deep blue. It's it's got quite a bit going on, but that's the last one right there. Okay. So, we got Cosmic Deep, Miss Money, Miss Die Dynamite. That one is Cosmic Sky. This is Du Blue, Jack Frost, Gold Rages, and Rebel Bean. 
And I thank you guys for watching. I'm going to widen this out now so I can look normal again. Okay. And if I do decide to put some kind of pictures or something at the end, you may see them for another video or whatever the heck where I've created some kind of look for it. But that's pretty much it. Those are my little creations. I like them. Peace.